Welcome to this short drawing video. These two pictures were the theme of today. No worries, I'm going to display them in the bottom left corner during the process. This is sped up 400% or four times. And here, I, well, during the drawing process, I cropped the image so you can see, uh, the, what is this? A six sized uh, watercolor paper, more or less A6. Um, in close-up. Uh, well, that software zoom doesn't improve things, but yeah, that's the best you and I will get. Without much introduction, I'm starting to draw a car here. Um, I decided because this was in the bottom left corner, you will see that the white car pops out quite a lot. So I decided to paint, well, draw that first because it looks so important, the right side of the picture is more or less dark gray, like 50% gray and blacks. If you squint, the left is dominated by the um, very bright house front, the house and stuff in the background, which is like 70% dark. And then there's the middle section with the almost black figure um, walking across the road. And the theme of today's um, sketching together was uh, well, tonal values. So the task was not to mix the correct colors and well, <laughs> officially it wasn't even about composition, but uh, just about tonal values, which means uh, the blackness, whiteness, and the, the, the light and dark, more or less. So we focused on black and white pictures. Here I'm, well, we were on a Discord call um, during the whole process. So it, you might see me um, gesticulating here and there, but I was trying to focus on the drawing part for the video. And my usual approach is to dive in with uh, ink and pen head first without much planning. And you see that the horizontal middle is already ruined. The composition, uh, it doesn't fit the frame that I drew on the paper. I picked these, uh, these, this Moleskine um, watercolor paper because it can soak up the liquid quickly, at least quicker than my regular sketchbook paper can. Um, and the ink washes that I will add later uh, will be quite a problem for my usual sketchbook paper where it is, the, the ink sits on top and dries on the surface instead of being absorbed by the paper. If you uh, ever experienced something like that, you know that, well, the paper is unusable, un unusable for quite some time until the stuff dries on the surface. And even though it's quite warm or rather hot today, uh, that during a warm-up sketch that took just too long and then I figured might as well use this Moleskine watercolor pad, which I really don't like to use for watercolor because of its surface quality. By this point, I finished the, uh, the, the outlines, well, most of the outlines. So I noticed that huh, I forgot the windows to the left, but I can add them later. And I begin to layer uh, the first gray ink washes. This is the important, interesting part, the, uh, the, the, the walkway uh, stuff. And by accident, I managed to get some dry brush technique in. So it, it looks like street texture, more or less, or a bit textured. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, but by that point, I also noticed that the um, diluted ink I, I'm using in this uh, water brush uh, is darker than usual. I just refilled it last week and it's darker and less diluted than I'm used to. This in turn means that I can't get the lighter values. The street is too dark, so I can't layer the whole street in um, one wash. I just have to leave it like that with the, with the white paper showing through. And the foreground, especially the, the, the light sections, can use some contrast. Uh, while the shadow parts should ideally uh, have less contrast. Because in the shadows, there's, well, the, the, the shadow um, 
hides the detail and the light uh, accentuates the detail. So that was the idea here and I just figured, well, it can only get worse. So might as well stop it. Here's a photograph um, with better light. So you see the actual tonal values better. Up next, the second picture is um, a sitting man on a, on, I guess, concrete bench, in some public space, feeding or interacting with uh, doves. And I started with the foot, of course. I mean, with this, it, it's it's not like they're. <laughs> yeah, I can't get sarcasm, right? Um, so there, there are so many uh, interesting forms in the background and, and compositional spaces in the foreground that I could have focused on, but I decided to start with a black shoe as a first point of well reference. You might have noticed that I've um, dotted a couple times in the beginning to well to replace to replace the, 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 the marker lines that you would get from using graphite. I'm not doing any uh, drawing first. I'm just diving head, f head first uh, in, into the whole painting and drawing thingy with uh, waterproof ink. So I can't really, I, I, I can't really rely on any, any pre-sketch. I, I just have to, to try to not mess things up immediately which is quite tricky. So um, adding, instead of a wireframe, I'm just adding the vertices, so to speak, or some of them as points of reference. Um, and here I finished the basic outline of the man sitting on the bench and then I figured, well, he's, he's I might as well add a lot of washes to him to uh, get the, 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 the backlit figure and the contrast there more or less right. And then, uh, to um, well simulate, uh, sorry for moving the paper out of the screen, out of focus. Um, the next step is to uh, add the background without any lines, or with far fewer lines than um, I would have in the picture on the opposite page. So, well, again, the other, you, you can't see uh, that part because I moved the paper up to far to the top. But there you see that I'm just blocking in basic shapes and adding some detail, but not a lot. And then adding some well, doves and uh, silhouettes and, and basically points and but blobs to the bottom. And things start to pull together. At this point, I noticed that the background was, was quite okay already. I like that the silhouette of the woman, I think, um, right behind the sitting person in the foreground, um, made his face and, 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 and his head uh, pop out a bit already. But if you, if you look at the thumbnail in the bottom left corner, you see that the tones are not quite right. Uh, everything that's dark needs to be way darker and um, there's some 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 mid tones that I again can hardly replicate because the dil diluted ink is n not diluted enough it's too dark so I can't get the um, what's it like 20% gray that runs horizontally through the middle of the original picture and it, that piece in turn becomes a bit too dark but what I can do is play with contrast and detail, like add more details in the foreground and use the food nib, food nib, food day, feud, I don't know, the feud nib um, to add some dark splotches. And this is the finished sketch. These were the paintings of today. Um, Kudos to the photographs um, that posted their stuff on Unsplash for reference. We had two more reference pictures but ran out of time and yeah, that's it for today.